And two people are dead after a car crash in West Palm Beach just before midnight last night. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jay Jarvis. Tonight we have audio from the 911 calls reporting that crash. Police say speed and aggressive driving were factors leading that car to crash into a concrete wall and burst into flames. Steve King joins us from South Flagler Drive where the crash happened with a look at the damage. Steve. Police say the car was traveling southbound here on South Flagler Drive at a high rate of speed when it lost control, ultimately slamming into this concrete barrier wall in front of a home. Now, police say the driver, 47 year old James Cook, the fourth and the passenger who's not yet been identified, both died at the scene. 911 calls revealed a terror some people in West Palm Beach experienced as the clock was striking midnight on New Year's Eve. 911, what is the location of your emergency? Um, Flagler Drive and Granada Road. There's a car that was speeding and it's, it hit a house and the car is on fire and I'm pretty sure the person inside okay. is dead. It was speeding like crazy and it's burst into flames. So I don't know if it's hit a gas line or something. Yeah, okay. people are now running there to see, I think, if they can help. Okay, okay. Make sure everybody please stay at a safe distance because we don't know what kind of vehicle or fuel. The fire we wants everybody really to stay at a safe distance. Because it could explode. Police say the car tried to pass another vehicle, so it went into the oncoming lane before losing control, hitting a curb, then a palm tree, then the concrete wall barrier. The fire department arrived a short time later and put out the fire. Both the driver, James Cook IV, and the passenger were killed in the crash. Police say while the investigation has just begun, they've determined speed and aggressive driving were factors in the crash. What really breaks your heart is the fact that, that this could have been prevented. You know, now two people have died, their families are without their loved ones, and on a holiday no less, um, but a split second was all it took. Certainly, this could have been prevented. And, and that's the ultimate tragedy here. The medical examiner's office will perform autopsies on both the driver and the passenger to determine their toxicology results. Reporting in West Palm Beach, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.